What's up, Ben Schwimmers? We're here with another avid Bayern Munich supporter. We have Jay here. Thank you, Jay, for sitting down with me, sitting down with the bench warmers. So primarily us being a football podcast, we want to get, you know, the match thoughts and the views from fans and supporters like you. You just sat through and witnessed this Chelsea versus Bayern Champions League match. What are your thoughts, especially after halftime? It was nil-nil. And at full time, it was definitely a lot of people think that it was a lot more goals could have been put in. But what were you thinking at halftime with with this uh, 0-0 score? I feel like uh, halftime was a strong showcase of uh, attacks and chances. Got my fan club over there. <laughs> um, yeah, um, it, it was it was a fierce back and forth. It, they didn't Chelsea didn't seem too threatening, which was a good thing for me. Um, they had a couple openings and a couple good counter runs, but other than that, I feel like the first half we just kind of needed to figure out the plan of attack and where we could penetrate. And I feel like the second half, that's what happened. Speaking about, you know, someone cutting through that defense, you had Serge Gnabry putting in a wonder show for those four, four three-minute spell. He got two, he backed two goals in there. You had Muller bouncing off that attempt off the post, that which uh, everybody was, was like, thought, that, that was thought that was going in, right? Yeah. But Serge Gnabry, he definitely put in a shift, and you had Lewandowski also getting on the score sheet. Let's say between those two, who would you pick to be your man of the match? Oh, definitely uh, Gnabry. Uh, just for the fact that we all know his pace is blistering, his shot accuracy is strong, everything. So he's not not that Lewandowski is not those things. His numbers always add up. The numbers don't lie, but Serge just brings a whole different aspect to the game, I feel like. He brings that uh, once he starts scoring, it's almost like he's hungry for it, and he's not going to let up, and that's the aspect I like. That's nice. Um, at 3-0, you got an extra little bonus with that red card to Marcus Alonso. The, the yellow, the additional yellow to Jorginho, so no Jorginho for the return fixture. You're sitting on 3-0, three away goals, no less. How are you looking at the return leg? Or unless you think that's unlucky or you might jinx it, it's okay. What are you, what are you looking at for the return leg? I feel they're going to pack them out. <laughs> pack them out and box them up. Um, I think it might be another three. They might, yeah, I think Bayern, they, they definitely in favor to give them another three. So um, I don't think Chelsea has a chance. Not that they don't have a chance, but I think they're a little scorned, they're a little hurt. And going into the second leg, they're going to feel that pressure in the Allianz Arena. And, you know, Bayern has to do the rest. Just close it out. Close it out strong. Do you think that it's, uh, has to do with the fact that it's yet another London club? Nah, but the, 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 the reoccurring theme is funny. Like, Serge Gnabry put a beating on Tottenham. This is, so, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I don't, I don't have any shade towards the Premier League, but I'm a Bundesliga fan. So anything Bundesliga, I'm like, let's pack everybody up. I don't care. Yeah, Leipzig, okay. Leipzig got to do their thing. Dortmund got to, like, everybody pack them up. I like that. I like that. So even though they're rivals in the Champions League, you want Bundesliga over everybody. Okay, cool. Um, I want to ask you a little bit about your swag because you got this nice Bayern München. You have the, the the four Champions League patch on the side, on the sleeve. I'm liking that. Can you give us a little bit of background on when Bayern Munich became your team? Um, you know, like I said, I, I definitely wasn't, like, counting on the calendar, but it's been some years for sure. Um, and I remember going to, I think it might have been either a Champions League match or like a really big Bundesliga match years ago. And it's just the, the camaraderie, the familyhood of it all was it stuck. It spoke to me, the Mia Samia's, uh, you know, moniker I, I could relate to. And it was, you know, once it, once it hits you, it just hits you. And I was buying all day, every day. So you hit the nail on the head. It was like that key word that a lot of people have been saying, this this family factor that Bayern has been showing. So um, I'll ask you that as the last question. You know, How do you see the atmosphere? Because you're part of the supporters club as well, correct? So how do you see the atmosphere as far as you know fostering this family within within and among Bayern fans? Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, I mean, this, this is one of my favorite spots to view anything football, and especially Bayern games. And one of those main reasons is the family atmosphere. Like, it's the same faces. New faces are always welcome. You don't feel intimidated as if it's like, oh, who the hell are you? Like, you're welcome. If you're on our side, we're rocking with you. So I really, that when I first started coming to Smiths, it was one of those things that I put all of my friends on and my folks on. So, um, yeah, it's just like uh, each one teach one kind of thing. And the atmosphere is always really, really fair. You know, we're not, we're not a hostile fan club at all. You know what I mean? Like, we're, we're fair, but we definitely about our team. So. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So we had 3 0 today. Can you give us a scoreline for the return fixture, Jay, before we let you go? I would like to say another 3 0. Not, nothing less than 3. Nothing less, he said. Nothing less. So we're looking at a 6 0 aggregate score for Bayern. Uh, who you want next in the next round, man? 
Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I don't mind seeing, let's say, like if Leon pulls off a surprise against Juve, I don't mind seeing that. I'm like, let's let's keep it easy up until. Yeah, because we've been having bad, like, you know, like bad, <laughs> bad draws. In the Appreciate it. Thanks for sitting down with us. We have Jay, Bayern Munich men here at Smithfield Hall. An awesome match between Chelsea and Bayern. We're going to see them on the next one. Peace, peace, peace.